Welcome to this tutorial. So here you have the foundation, which is always the upper part of your trouser block. And you have the leg line, which you will be using to create different shapes. So this is what I mean. So the first image is a trouser and you can see that it's straight down. And the second image is the slack, which is sort of a little bit pencil. And then you have the jean. So by the side, you can see that what I've written there are the ease that you would have on your thigh measurement. So here, yeah, I'm going to just be trying to briefly explain terminologies in the trouser block. You have the crotch, which is, you know, the crotch area of your body. You have the crotch depth, which is also called the body rise, and is measured from your waist to the crotch. You have the crotch extension, which, you know, goes underneath the crotch to give you ease. The crotch points, you have the crotch level, then the out seam is the waist to knee, um, sorry, waist to floor rather. And the inseam is in inwards, like from the crotch downwards. So here you have different trouser shapes. So if you search on Pinterest, you would find um, a lot more trouser shapes than this. So you can pause and write and notice the leg line shape. Remember I said the leg line is, you know, where you get different um, sort of shapes. So this is, you know, sort of like the front view of different types of trouser shapes. All right. There's even, <coughs> sorry, there's even a jumpsuit and an overall here. And you know, just notice that the skirt, sweatpants, just notice the leg line shape. That's what you use to distinguish different types of trousers. So here we have trouser length, and you can actually just look at the position that they are in on the trouser pattern that is on the right hand side, and you know, just um, look at the image. So this is actually explained a lot more in the textbook, which I'm going to. Um, show you but yeah that's pretty much it for trousers once you understand the foundation and the leg line you're good to go